<laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back. I got to wait for some people to come back in. All right, I'm live again. Sorry about that. y'all sorry happened again just dropped out all right so halftime 24 7 cam acres 14 carries 82 yards right just wait for a few people to come back in we'll just talk about it so we got the espn trolling us at halftime people so third quarter we got sanford samuels he breaks up on a beautiful third down play to free, um, or to force them to play out their own end zone, right? So Sammy Samuels was making some plays. Uh, Sir Fox said, my heart ain't with Taggart. I'm not feeling good about him or Barnett. And Barnett said his defense was fixed. It looked worse than last week. They look, they, they look, they look better in the first quarter and a half. They looked better. And then it fell apart again. It melted down. It's a mental thing. They, they break down mentally. Anyway, let's see. Still waiting on some people. Uh, third quarter. Um, a legal penalty on a punt returner is a scheme thing too. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of things. Uh, let's try to get some more people back up here. We had a packed house and I dropped out. Hold on a second. All right, we get some people back in. All right, third quarter. So defense held again in the third quarter. Defense held again. Right? Um, Woodby falls. Woodby falls on a fumble. We'll be found a fun with a big play off the hams of strip. So we still up 24-7. So Hans with Nazardine, I think he should never leave the field. I think Hans with Nazardine should never leave the field. Um, Blackman gives a right back for interception. Miscommunication with uh, Tamori Terry on the sideline. Miscommunication. 
right? So that one I kind of give. I don't know. That's a that's that that's a mistake on Hasma. I mean on uh, James Blackman and Tamori and Terry. They both was at fault on that one, right? Miscommunication. So interception for a touchdown. So here we go. 24-14, right? Now, Gavin. God damn, Gavin! Gavin shouldn't be on the field, folks. Gavin caught a first down, broke a tackle, stepped off first down, fumbled the ball right back to him. Hey, tell I was on 35. Fumble the ball, right? Why is Gavin still on the field? I don't get it. So now, they scored off the Gavin fumble, made it 24-17 at the Evans touchdown run, right? Crowd booing, offensive line looking like trash, right? Crowd still booing. That was when it went really bad. So then the fourth quarter, fourth quarter comes around, Thanks, Sham, y'all. Coming back. I was up to 35. O-line is bad. Yep, yep, it is, uh, John. Now, hit that like button, y'all. Let's get the people back up in here. Fourth quarter. Nice play. Ontario Wilson balling out. He looking good, Ontario Wilson. Um, yeah, I'm live again, though. Hold on. <laughs> What's up, Mike? That's right. Go nose, baby. No bloody. Thanks for the likes, y'all. Um, so then, now the crowd booing us in the third quarter. Offensive line looking horrible again, right? Um, fourth quarter, Ontario Wilson had a nice play, off, but it was offside. I think it was a touch. Oh, yeah, he had a nice little touchdown run. Ontario Wilson. Right? Got a call back. Um, let's see. Hold on. So, and then, but then a touchdown by DJ Matthews with 13 minutes left. Hell of a game by DJ Matthews, man. DJ Matthews was playing. Nice game by him, right? Uh, Evans to McCray on ULM. Uh, slant two straight times, no adjustments. So ULM is just driving down the field. We up 31-17. He, he had the same exact play to McCray. A slant across the middle. We couldn't stop it. Right? Um, Xavier Brown caught a, a, a seam on the sideline. Well, Kyle Myers didn't turn around. That's how I knew right there that Harlan Barnett ain't teaching these corners right, man. He ain't teaching the corners right. Dude's corner still ain't turning around the same old problems. God damn. Right? Um, yeah, man. Uh, Blackman gave it, up, gave it up, tossed it up after pressure with eight minutes and 57 is left. Um, that's how I knew right there. So after they scored right there, and Blackman went ahead and just tossed it up. His face was in the dirt. He gave up. His face was down. Uh, when the players coming next year, any old lineman? Yeah, it's a few. They're not going to be ready, though. They ain't no blue chips. They ain't ready right off the bat. Um, Blackman, so Blackman, with eight minutes left, he just tossed it up and, and tossed the game. He like, forget it. Forget this. He ain't, James Blackman didn't want to be on the field. He ain't want to be on the field. And then Cam Akers had a touchdown with six minutes left. What up, Irv Gotti? I'm having problems with my internet. That's crazy. Yeah, you can't turn around. Willie, Willie Tiger can't turn this around in one year. Of course not, right? Cam Akers had a touchdown with six minutes left. Uh, and then they went ahead and scored, I believe, went to overtime. And we and Cam Akers scored again. Not really much to get excited about. We scored again. We won 40, what, 44. 45 to 38, they missed the extra point. Right? Uh, 
or 45, 44, right? Okay, let's get to the grades here, right? This internet pissing me off today. Uh, let's go to the grades. Quarterback, C minus. I want to see Hornetbrook in the game. I want to see Hornetbrook in the game. C minus. And I'm being nice to Blackman. I'm being nice. What y'all think of the quarterback grade? Oh, I say us. I want to give him a D in that. I want to give him a D. I'm being nice. C minus. Who else? What grades we got for Blackman? A D? <laughs> oh. Not good. Hornetbrook got to get some reps. I, I want to see. I'm interested to see what Hornetbrook got. He, uh, Blackman cashed it in. A E. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. Hit that like button, folks. We had a packed house five minutes ago. Let's get this. Let's get these some likes. Give me some likes. Let's get it packed up in here. F. Hey, Cedric, why you say Blackman got an F? <laughs> I think he, he did. We was up 21 nothing. Blackman, Blackman can't play a complete game. The offense is the most basic offense on earth. Like, you don't need to read nothing. It ain't no reads. I don't know why they say we need, there's reads. Only thing you need to read is if the linebackers are coming up or off and if the free safety is going to help up top. That's it. That's the only two reads you need to see. And you get and you get those reads before the snap. Black men be getting so hyped up. Like, all you need to do is see the safety if he's helping up top. If he's not, then you go up top. If he creeps, if he creeps, that's the, that's the whole point of everybody spread out so you can see the whole thing. That's why Kendall Brown's offense always works. It's, it's so easy. And it's hard to stop, though. It's simplicity. It's so simple, but it's hard to stop. Because you gotta, the defense always gotta show their hand. So it's like, oh, I just go to this thing. The defense gonna go over there, so it's gonna go over here. How hard is that? Of course it's hard with a bad offensive line, but dang, he, he got more time. It ain't no excuse. Yeah, they gotta put Hornybrook in, bruh. Right, hit that like button for me, folks, if y'all don't mind. You dealing with the no blood, Rah! right, right? My internet ain't even working today. T play so bad, it's screwing up my goddamn internet. <laughs> I keep dropping out. All right, running back. What about 73 leaving the game? Who cares? Is that Jawan Williams? Talk about that one. Then it's Jawan Williams you talk about. Let's go to running back. Yeah, who cares? Is it, uh, do, we have, do we have any value? If anybody get hurt, like, is that gonna hurt us? We hurt ourselves, our ooh, injuries, who cares? All right, running back, I gave, I agree with you, I gave him a B plus, I gave, I gave Cam Akers a B plus, because if he don't play, we get blown out. I gave Akers a B plus. What y'all give Cam Akers? We was about to be the laughing stuff. We already getting laughed at, folks. If we lost this game, can you imagine? Can you imagine Miami and the Florida game? Can you imagine the fan? We gonna hear about this for the next 20 years. If we would've lost today, remember when the Florida Gators lost to that, uh, Tina didn't pass the ball one time? If we would've lost today, we would've got it from the whole earth for 20 years. Yeah, I say Cam Akers get a B plus. Yeah, we about, we all agree pretty much. Yeah, he did everything. He was he had a, he had a, damn it he had thirty one carries for one hundred fifty eight yards, five point yards per hit per pop, two TDs. All right, let's go to uh, wide receiver. What you think about wide receiver? I gave it a C. I gave wide receivers a C plus. But I wouldn't disagree with a C or C minus. I gave wide receivers a C plus. Man, we would have heard it for the next 20 years we would have lost today. Yeah, C. C, yeah. D. <laughs> I think like, I think Kalan LeBorn should have got more touches though. 
he having a bad he having a bad year, the Kalan. He having some bad luck out there. He had a good run though. Yeah, I thought so too. Kalan. I don't know, man. I think Kalan do good just to stay another year and be the feature back. I think that's what he need to do. All right. Let's go to tight end. Yeah, yeah, I think, I don't know, man. Kalan be dancing a lot too, though. Might be, yeah, it might be a mental thing with his knee. That's true. That's true. Um, let's go to, uh, tight end. Yeah, yeah. He be trying to get a little fancy at times too, though. Tight end. I gave tight end a C. Yeah, yeah, I gave tight end a C. I think we need to use our tight ends more. It ain't no, I have no issues with our offense. I have no issues with our offense at all. None. D, <laughs> um, oh boy, offensive line, baby. Offensive line, I say offensive line by the D. Offensive line, I say by the D. About a D offensive line. You said a. Oh, you talk about Anzio talking about tight end. Yeah, uh, offensive line. I say D. Yeah. Same old, same old. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the old line had their moments. They didn't have a few good moments. They played better than last year. Compared to last year, it's a D. Last year was an F minus every game, so it's a, it's an improvement. Yeah, it look, yeah, it do look way better than last year. They do, they do. They look way better than last year. They do. If my internet cut out again, I'm just gonna end it today, folks. So, let's, so if I, if it cuts off again, if I drop out again, we'll just go. Um, I, I won't go live again until after the uh, Virginia game. Matter of fact. I'm not going live after the Virginia game. I'm going live the next day because my son's birthday on that day. So I go live on uh, Sunday, Sunday morning before NFL kickoff, like 11 in the morning or something. All right. Let's go to uh, cornerbacks and safety. Cornerbacks, I gave a D minus. Stanford Samuels, he saw for the pancake juice. I like a I like a Sammy on the other side. Yeah, I'll agree with an F. I'll take an F too. I'll be a nice with a D minus. Cause we did have some nice plays. I like Carlos Becker. I don't like our safeties. Our safeties. That's why I think it was a big miss. Yeah. They better win in Virginia. Are oh, you traveling to Virginia? <laughs> hey, Asante Samuels. I like that dude. Secondary is not playing up to par, man. Harlan Barnett. Is a goddamn quarterback coach. What's wrong? He's a quarterback coach. Corner, the secondary. Yeah, the secondary should be the worst. Should, should, be, should be the last of the issues. We got a secondary co coach coaching the defense. Um, oh yeah, with quarterbacks, but he'll make a change change with the, with the coaches though. Uh, certified. Yeah, start did, you think? At safety? I agree. Probably should. Probably should. Um linebacker. F minus. Linebacker F minus. F minus. Now, uh Dontavius Jackson, he need to be cut. He need to be gone. Yeah, Barnett might be gone this week. Dontavius might be gone. I mean, uh, he need to be cut. We, 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 this game shouldn't even win the overtime. He dug his knee into a dude helmet. We was about to stop them on the, like their own 20 or 30 or something on third down. He stepped on the dude's head. He won't, Dontavious Jackson won't fall on the football, but he'll fall on somebody's head. Make that make sense. He'll fall on somebody's head and give him a 15 yard, but he can't fall on a football. <laughs> they laughing at us, folks. I'm tired of it. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, folks. They laughing at us. All right? Defensive line. Oh, Lord. Defensive line about as bad as offensive line. I get a defensive line. 
D. D. They can't make no pressure. Like, and when they do get, and when, when they do get pressure, they get through the line, but they ain't touching nobody. They ain't touching nobody. How you get through the line? You 300 pounds and ain't touching nobody. They're like a bunch of 300 pound pillows running around. What is, what is this? Hey, 300 pound pillowcases, man. This is ridiculous. Three, four hurting them. They do more laughing at us and they got a million memes about that for you. Man, I tell you one thing, Sir Five. We lost, if we would have lost this game today, I would have had to troll, make a video trolling myself. <laughs> if we would have lost today, I would have to make a video making fun of my damn self. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. You well live. Not Louisville, who beat us 60 to 60 to God knows what. Not, not Louisville. A team from the Sun Belt over time. Good God. Pull up the turn, you got there. They almost put the a skirts up in, in Tallahassee. This is a disgrace. But Dontavis Jackson putting his knee on people's heads. He's an idiot. Don Tavis Jackson was dropped on his head too many times as a child. It ain't his fault. How you be that big? How you be that big? Yeah, I wouldn't go to Virginia game, Irv Gotti. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -uh. Mm -mm. Cheer from afar. Cheer from afar. <laughs> the Virginia people gonna be getting you, boy. You'll be surrounded by Cavaliers. They need to change the 348, need to change the 348 sap. Uh, I think it's too late. 6320 to, to, to Arizona, Arizona? Who was it? I mean, Louisville, yeah. That's under Jimbo's watch. Jimbo kept his kept his defensive coordinator way too damn long. I don't see Taggart doing that. Taggart, Taggart ain't playing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a live at the Virginia game next week. Um, right, not right after the game, but the part of the next day, the following day, because my son got a uh, my son's birthday on on uh, Saturday. Uh, Tennessee lost to Georgia Southern. Yeah, Taggart, it but serve five. I don't think Taggart, It ain't about Taggart changing to DC. I, I, I don't think he really can, but he will. At the end of the season, he will. Right now, right, who's really available and, and they already got their scheme in the offseason. So it'd be just as bad. No matter what they change to it, the defense would be just as bad because they learned a new defense. The linebacker is always out of position. It seems like everybody, it seems like everybody on defense always out of position. Same old thing. This ain't nothing new. Under Jimbo Fisher, we couldn't line up. We couldn't line up right. We could we ain't on the count. We going outside. We starting fights. We always hitting players. We never hit nobody during the during, during the play, but we hitting everybody after the whistle, getting all these stupid penalties. Right? Can't line up. Don't know who to cover. Linebackers always out of position. Jaden would be out there playing flag football. He shouldn't even be a linebacker. He he trying to dance around blocks instead of going through blocks. Jay Woodby can't get around blocks. So why is he out there? Like, we missing that bad? A Clemson fan just left an orange toilet paper in my mailbox. Man, Clemson, Clemson looking at us like, man, we about to eat. Clemson like, we about to eat today. <laughs> uh, what we want to talk about, folks? Darren Pitt, 6320, that's when Jimbo Fisher lost his team. Man, yeah, Jimbo... Jimbo ain't, that, ain't as great as, as they make him out to be. He not. He not. And I tell you one thing, that contract he got, that's a lot of pressure on that contract. Texas A&M ain't gonna let him just sit there on his laurels every year making 100 million. And they losing to Alabama and uh, Georgia every year. He gotta play them two teams every year. He left, a, he, he left a secure job in Florida State. He left a real secure job. Because he had his national championship. He could always fall back on that. Clemson fans clowning. Let's talk about next year. 
<laughs> this season of why she think <laughs> T.D. Wilson is talking about this year. It's so sad, it's funny. And a transfer portal. <laughs> we should have got, I can't believe we couldn't get a quarterback to come play for Florida State, man. I can't believe that. How we can't get no clips? How come we can't get no quarterback to play for Florida State? Like it was uh, Justin Fields. He would have fit perfectly. That dude on Oklahoma, he would have fit perfectly. Uh, Jalen Hurts would have fit. Like all these running option quarterbacks, we couldn't get one of those to come to Florida State. They won't even, they won't even come check us out. They like, man, we ain't playing behind the offensive line, and they can run. We need a quarterbacks like that. But oh well, Alabama State. <laughs> we need to drop bags. We need to stop. How? Oh, how a ball at eighty? Oh damn, that's not good. That ain't that ain't good. That ain't good. How a balling? I know, I know. A true freshman. But but that goes to show you that goes. But that goes to show you though. That goes to show you that when. True freshmen this day and age, they're more better prepared. We get Jeff Sims in, he can turn this all around in one year. Jeff Sims. It only takes one play. Jameis Winston took us to the top his first year. It only takes one play. It only takes one recruit. Jeff Sims might be that dude. You know what I'm saying? You never know. It only takes one guy to turn the whole program around. Leadership qualities, uh, uh, a player the team can believe in. Oh, yeah, Jeff Sims over Blackman. I'll take Jeff Sims as a true freshman. Okay. Jeff, Jeff Sims is a freshman. Will probably, will probably take Blackman's job. Blackman might lose his job this year. So, yeah. I think, I think Jeff Sims, from what I've seen today, I don't see Blackman. Willie ain't big on Blackman. Blackman's a raw, raw guy that, um, the teams rally around. I wouldn't go that far, Darren. I wouldn't say Jeff Sims the next Jameis Winston. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Jameis Winston, the best quarterback ever at Florida State. Nah, I don't see that happening. I don't see how you see that happening, but that's a long, that's a stretch. Let's just get, let's slow that down. I said better than black man. Give Travis a shot. Travis. Yeah, yeah, Jameis the best ever. Travis, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, this Florida boy, who, who, who he with? I don't see us growing getting shit, we're going to get smoked. Uh, I wouldn't say every team, we got some cupcakes in there. Yeah, Howard still roll. Howard still roll. Yeah. Howard still roll. Sam Howell, yep. Yep. Sure is. Yep. Would y'all witness the greatest, baby? I'm gonna be still making video. I'm still gonna be right here. We still gonna have a fun year. Win, lose, or draw. No blood or all. Right? I don't cupcakes put points on. <laughs> yeah, I understand how we got no transfer. I think it's um, negative recruiting, which is like, all you gotta do is see what we did today. Ah, somebody we found. <laughs> Hey, what if we did beat Virginia next week? We piss, that, that would piss a lot of people off. You know what, though? You know what the funny part is? The, the Taggart the tag haters, right? The Taggart haters, the tag haters ain't happy. The Taggart haters is mad that we won today. Y'all know that, right? I saw comments of Florida State fans saying, uh, I hope we lose tomorrow because I want Taggart fired this year. So you got some fans that hate Taggart. They're not happy that we was close in a close game with a cupcake. They mad that we didn't lose that game. We got some fake fans. And, uh, I guess every ba fan base got them. It's ridiculous. Like, why would you want to lose just to, it's like biting your own, cutting off your nose to spite your own face. 
You know, it's ridiculous. Like, I want to win. I want to win. I don't care who who up there. What's it matter? Stupid. It's a dumb, dumb, dumb statement. I want to lose so uh so so we get so our coach get fired and we get set back another goddamn four years. <laughs> so don't so now we set we already set back with Jimbo hires because Jimbo took took too long to fire Kelly. He wanted to keep his friend there. So we set back four years. So we get rid of Taggart, we set back another four years. So instead of losing to see what Taggart can do. Dabo Sweet, they wanted Dabo Sweetie fired. His first, what, three, four years. He couldn't have a winning record. He barely was having a winning record. His first year, he was like five and six. They wanted him fired. What you think? You think they slapping themselves in the face now? Like, oh, damn, glad we didn't fire him. What about um, Bobby Bowden? His first year, he was sucking. Right? Right? We won't lose Sims, though. We won't lose Sims. But yeah, that's like the worst case. Like, you got, so you keep tagging, uh, fire him now. We set back another four years. You got to get a coach at least four. You got to give a coach at least three to four years, man. He on a five-year contract. We can't afford to get rid of him anyway. And I don't see why we should. Now, Harlan Barnett is a different story. When he tagged enough fix the offense, he got the coordinator. He got the best offensive coordinator in the country in place. It's the defense. He gets the right defensive coordinator. We would have won today. We would have we would have won 38 to. Who knows? 38 to. The 14 or something, at least. 38 to 14. No blood. Ah! Let's get it cracking, baby. I'm the right boss to cook y'all hot sauce because I'm cleaning the goddamn dinner floss. Hit that like button, baby. We're going to keep it rolling. I, I, I'm going to heal your wounds. This is healing time. We going through, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Nah. 50 to 3. Was that, is, that, is that the score we're going to beat Virginia by next week? 50 to 3? I'm, I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> 50 to 3? No blood for 39 years. What's up? No blood. They're in pits. I want the Florida State fans in here right now. Right away. Florida State fans has packed this house up, baby. I got to go to work an hour. I need to get crunk. I, I bleed. No, I believe God ain't gold and cheap goddamn liquor. <laughs> Honey fried chicken grease, baby. I'm healed yet, bro. My heart's still beating from that game. We won the game. It could have been worse. We could have lost. <laughs> we could have lost. We not beating Virginia. What did we beat Virginia? Man, I piss a lot of people off, boy. Virginia, Virginia not that, Virginia not that great. God, hey, liquor! Virginia not that great. Peace, auntie. Virginia not that great. Uh, I watched some tape. They quarterback. He's a runner. They more of a run, which is bad for us, because they can run the ball. They smash mouth. But he's not a passer, so I'm like, clog the line, Harlan. You listen to Harley? You there? You there? You Urkel looking mother trucker. Clog the line and play man to goddamn man. That's our only hope. That's our only hope. Harlan, I'm going to get on Harlan this week. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know my next video, I'm getting on Harlan again. Y'all know that, right? I'm tired. Hit that like button. Uh, sir, uh, sir, if I say it don't matter if Virginia is good or not, we can't stop nobody from running a past it. <laughs> Harlan Barnett, the tank, the... Nah, I ain't gonna say that. He hurt. Harlan Barnett is the weakest link, folks. The weakest link. <laughs> I go hard in the paint. Hit that like button, folks. Let's get some more people up in here. What else y'all want to talk about, baby? What y'all want to talk about? Huh? Honey fried chicken. Nah. <laughs> Keep my name on full blast. Put on the gas. No blood until I die. We're going to have to get on that ad. Yeah. But Dante is Jackson. Kick rocks. What's up, baby? I don't want to see Dontavious Jackson again on that field. I don't.
don't want to see Dontavis Jackson again. Who on that field? Where we at? That boy is a bonehead. He's so sorry. And then he got that big old that ink on his neck. Like he's yeah, look, look like he a real linebacker. You need to be cleaning towels or something. Whoopi don't need to be a linebacker. Just put up points and cheer for our defense and get a stop here and there. Go, no. <laughs> we don't, our linebackers are, yeah, Gator. I don't care about the mistakes. They make, the, the seniors, the seniors making the mistakes. The seniors making the mistakes. So who cares about mistakes? Jackson can't get through a block. He can't make a tackle. He always triggered it too late. What's wrong with him? And then, he get, and then he get mad and put his foot in somebody's head after a play. Would be, he, he should be at safety. Harlan has put us in a bad spot. I don't care about Miami. They about to, I don't care about Miami. They trash. So they came back on, on UNC. Yeah, running circles around blocks. Trash! Woodby should be in safety. That's uh that's a that's bad on our defense. We would be stronger if we put Woodby at safety. He's a liability at linebacker. It's not his position. Why is he at linebacker? I know we bad, but god dang! So, so you so you going the linebacker if, if the linebacker can't be fixed, if the linebacker core can't be fixed, right? Which I don't think it can. Not this season. Right? Let it be the funk scheme to where the, the linebackers are not being stressed and put would be the strength in the back end. At least keep the back end tight. Our safeties is bad. Woodby's a five-star safety. He's smart. I don't care about speed. He don't need speed. He's a safety. He's smart. Woodby is real smart. Yeah, put Jackson on the bench, man up, clog the line because we got to clog the line because Harlan Barnett got everybody out of position. The defensive players are out. That's the problem. That's it. We got blue chips. And then they sorry, they out of posi position of strength. He's not putting them in the positions to succeed. They're not putting the positions to succeed. That's on the defensive coordinator. They ain't sorry. They playing sorry, yes. But they ain't sorry. We averaging top six talent in the country recruiting. On average, we number six. In the past five to ten years, I think. I can't remember. But we number six. It ain't about players being trash. It's the sis, it's the coach. I saw the day Kyle Myers, I'm like, okay, let's see. When it seemed this quarterback throwing, let's see if he turned around. The ball in the air for five seconds. The quarterback didn't turn around one time and got a pass in the finish. The same stuff. Harlan Barnett is supposed to be a cornerback guru. Why is McCray not starting? He is a dog. Why is McCray on the bench? McCray's a dog. Oh, he can't play Myers? Kyle Myers, Kyle Myers was the one that didn't turn around for that pass. Oh, he said he can't play. But Myers ain't, Myers ain't the only one that wasn't turning around, though. He wasn't the only one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he says. <laughs> It's the coaching, man. The dude still ain't turning around for passes. Out of position. He didn't get his head around? What? It's probably too late. Probably the last possible. Man. I don't I, I don't see the passion. When McCray come in, he he molly whopping dudes. Um, who else? Uh Emmett Rice chokehold somebody to the ground. I'm like, man, there you go. That's Florida State. We used to hurt people. We used to hurt people. Y'all remember that? What's all this fingertip tackling? What's all this hugging tackling? 
Dudes ain't popping out there, man. This ain't Florida State, bro. This ain't Florida State. We had to dig deep to beat Louisville Monroe. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love y'all folks. Keep your head up. But we'll get a few more folks in here. We'll just be on, I'll be on here for a few more. We'll be on here. We'll see what's cracking. But yeah, put those killers in for real space. Say anybody else want to say anything in the chat? I pretty much broke down the game. Put the grades. You know what I'm saying? We know what we saw out there. They dug into China to win this game. <laughs> they dug to China. Yeah, Kavon Glenn and McCray start. I don't care who starts somebody else. I don't care. It's tryouts. It, 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 from what I've seen, it ain't no positions locked in. Black men need to be sacked. I don't see no positions locked in. I don't see. I, I don't see no positions locked. Y'all see him running back? That's it. That's it. I don't see no positions locked. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> All right, folks. Yeah, just running back. That's the only position locked. Even even LeBron, even LeBron, even LeBron, he, 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 he ain't looking, LeBron ain't looking right. Terry, Terry straight. Terry had a, Terry had a, should have had a touchdown we got called back um, because of our legal uh, receiver down, or legal receiver down the field. Uh, Terry, I don't know. I already knew it was going to be hard to let, nobody going to let Terry loose this year. I already knew that. I knew we were going to have to run the football. They ain't going to let Terry... Yeah, Gavin, oh my God. They ain't going to let Terry get loose like that. They got tape on him. They know what that dude can do. He's an NFL, probably a, close, he probably a damn near first rounder. He got size. He, he like a Randy Moss. He like once in a... Receivers like him don't come out like looking like like that size and that speed and that wiggle. Like that don't, that don't come with every so often. He a first round pick, man. They ain't going to let him get off like that. It's not going to happen. Uh... Gavin, Gavin was damn near, yeah, Gavin is damn near a five-star. That dude is horrible. How you get a first that didn't fumble the ball off? The, man, the dude barely hit you. Good Lord, people. Strap up. It's about to be a bumpy ride this season. But I'm going to be right there, baby. Hold it down in the front line. I ain't going nowhere. We going to get it down, baby. Defense is soft as cotton. It's soft as a toilet cushion seat. Yes. Yes. I'm going to be right here, baby. Y'all hold your head up. We're going to be all right. It's a win. It don't feel like it, but damn, it's a win. And if y'all think this win don't mean nothing, go in your imagination and imagine.